All right. On the podcast tonight, we have Morgan Geyer, and I am so excited that you are here. <laughs> um, I was going to call you, what was your, you just changed your handle not too long ago because you went. Mm. I yep. did. It was Morgan the Pie Lady, and now I'm Morgan the Midwest Lady. Which both are great, and you still make a lot of pies, I bet. Yes, I still make pies, but I switched up the name just because I was definitely focusing more on Midwest, you know, finds and foods. And I felt like Morgan the Pie Lady was a little more whatever word you want to use, but localized. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd switch it up and it's been kind of fun having a new name, you know? Yeah. First <laughs> off, before before we get started here, you have on a quick trip sweatshirt. So I just I do. If, if you guys aren't watching it on YouTube, just know that she's our people. Um, but do you just want for our listeners who are not following you yet, which you guys go sh- should be right now, um, do you just want to explain who you are, uh, where you are in the Midwest, and how you kind of started sharing on social media? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so. I am in the Southern Wisconsin area. So you can find me Morgan, the Midwest lady on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. And I think that's it. There's so many All now. The things. Yeah. Oh Are you gosh. on that new lemon eight <sighs> app? I, it's funny. Cause I just listened to your guys' episode from last week before this and I feel the same exact way that you do about it, where it's like, how many more social media platforms can there be, you Mm -hmm. know? Yeah. So I am on it, but I think I have zero followers, (laughs) so it's going really well, but I don't really know. I I still didn't download it. I just, I don't know. Maybe if it pops off, maybe I will, but. I know I downloaded it, but I can't say I've spent like any time on it. I don't, I don't even know what it is. I mean, I think like what Amber said, it's Pinterest and Instagram kind of into one, but I, I can, I mean, how much time can we all spend Mm -hmm. posting on all of this? Yeah, exactly. And then like trying to re purpose your content for each platform Mm -hmm. it's like is it worth it in the end I don't know I know it is it is a lot it's like how much time you want to spend doing it but Mm -hmm. um off on the tangent so I started um posting on social like pretty heavily about a year ago and it was just pies and stuff back then because I was kind of just doing like home bakery stuff and then it switched into kind of just different recipes and then it kind of switched in then I joined the quick trip team and just kind of started doing more midwest stuff and then now I just kind of do everything I mean mostly like cooking and recipes and all of that still but um like fun places that we've traveled to around here different activities to do with kids you know just I'm kind of all over the place (laughs) I think it's fun like that though because it it keeps it interesting and then you don't necessarily like get burnt out on a topic. Like I feel like if you're just posting about baking all the time and be like, I got to bake another pie. Like, <laughs> dang it. I know. <laughs> no, that's exactly what it was. So about a year ago, I, I was strictly just baking and I had just had my son. So I was postpartum. And I mean, I'm like, how many, I can't do this. Like almost every single day, like bake a pan of brownies. Like otherwise I am eating, I have such a sweet tooth. So, I mean, not that my family was complaining, but like, we got to kind of broaden things, you know? So, but I mean, I kind of started, I posted a video on TikTok actually. And I didn't know, like, I didn't really do, I didn't even know what TikTok really was. (laughs) I mean, you are like, like, I mean, how many followers do you have a lot of followers on TikTok? Yeah, I I have 33,000 and I was doing really well, you know, like it was taken off and then um, just like all different platforms. I mean, I would do well, then it would kind of plateau off and I would get stressed about it, you know, but now like what you guys said, it's like, 
I'm just trying to kind of do it for fun. Like what are, at the end of the day, like, what are you, what's your like goal here? Like, mm-hmm. is it more just like a fun thing? And of course, like you want to make money where you can, but um, I mean, I, I enjoy like the creativity part of it and, you know, just kind of finding random recipes to do or activities with kids because summertime's coming up. So we gotta, we gotta find those activities for them. Yeah, no doubt. I just saw yesterday there was, have you seen the um, cottage cheese ice cream? I've heard of that. Yes. Apparently it's big it. on, yeah. Apparently it's big on TikTok, but it's like basically blended cottage cheese. And then you add whatever flavors you want to it and freeze it. Apparently it's good. I, I really would like to try it because I had the Kemp's uh, <laughs> made a, like a blended cottage cheese for kids. And oh. I mean, it's like a yogurt consistency. It had strawberries in it. It was actually really good. So I, I can nice. see how it would be good for the kids um, too. Yeah. They, you know, they think that they're getting an ice cream treat and you're like, <laughs> you <got laughs> it's <cheese>. cottage cheese. <laughs> High protein snack, but. Um, right. Yeah. So. I, I haven't seen that. Oh, oh yeah. Um, I, it might still be in my stories. I'm not really sure. I saw it yesterday at some point and I, I reposted it, but. It looked, it looked good. TikTok, I think, is really good at coming up with like really weird viral, viral things. I actually saw something of like corn ice cream. Um, to be determined, I haven't, I haven't. Um, I, I, it's always like on my list of things I want to try. But like, what do they do? I don't know. I don't remember. So I gotta look back at that, but. That would be that, perfect I for mean, this podcast. I was going to say that that would be <laughs> the most Midwestern thing you could do. <laughs> well, stay tuned. Maybe I'll have to try it out one of these weeks. I don't know. Cottage cheese or corn ice cream. It's a toss up of which one to try. I mean, all of them are very Midwestern. <laughs> we've got the dairy and we've got the corn. So that's true. Fine. True. Either one. I don't know. We'll have to see. But <laughs> um, so where did your passion with baking come? You know, is that kind of been your full-time job or do you, have you just always kind of loved doing it? I've always loved doing it. Um, like even when I was younger, I just always liked doing it. And my grandma, she actually, when she was younger, worked at a restaurant and would bake pies there. And so she was kind of like the pie lady when, she, you know, back in the day. Um, and then I kind of found a passion for it when I was probably like 20. Um, I'm kind of an old soul. So I mean, most people were like going out, not that I wasn't doing that, but like, I also was like Sundays baking pies and gardening or doing something weird like that. Um, but I've always really liked it. It's been really fun. Like I did like 4-H when I was younger and would bake, I think I baked like cookies or cake one time. So, um, But yeah, it's just, I don't know. And then I used to work in oral surgery. I worked in oral surgery for a long time, about 10 years. And then about a year and a half ago, I became a stay-at-home mom. But again, I was still kind of doing like the home baking thing. And then just kind of started posting on socials and doing all all that stuff, which has been super fun and um, met a lot of fun people. Like when we all met at the quick trip meeting and that was fun. And, um, yeah, it's, it's been, it's been an experience for sure. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Social media can be described (laughs) as an experience. (laughs) It really can, but I mean, a good one though, for the most part, I'd like to think, um, especially like with the quick trip thing, that was uh, probably one of the coolest things ever. Like, I think just to say that you work with Quick Trip and like everyone's yes. like, really? It's like, like what? Yeah, <laughs> this is a, <laughs> this is a flex. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it's it's really the only biggest flex. Like, I can't say I'm like super successful on social media, but enough to say like, well, Quick Trip sponsors me. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not too bad. Kind of a Blazers big deal. For life. <laughs> yeah, you know so. I mean, I did try the dreamsicle milk. I don't know if mm. you've gotten a chance to try that yet. I haven't yet. I'm not, I'm not a big flavored milk fan. Like I love chocolate milk and I love white milk. Mm-hmm. And that's that's about all. I've had the I've tried like their mm-hmm. root beer milk. Um their mint I've, milk I've yes. tried. I mean, I haven't 
love them, but they're good. Like if you're into that thing, I am the same. I, I also, I looked just for fun. I'm like, what are, I wonder what the calories are in this little bad, milk. bad idea, <laughs> bad idea. Cause I made donuts with it. So, you know, I oh. added all kinds of sugars and stuff to it. Um, it was like 460, not that like I care, but you know, it was like 460 calories and like 63% of your daily sugar intake for the day. So Oops. that was, I'm like, well, it was pretty good though, but I did have someone comment that I need to try the root beer, uh, milk. So whenever that comes, I definitely will have to give that a try. Yeah. It, I mean, it tastes like root beer, like a, like a melted root beer float kind of. Yeah. I really enjoyed, um, I did the mint milk and I used it as coffee creamer. That was pretty good. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. But I mean, you could make uh, like a milkshake out of that pretty easily too. And it would be good. You could probably you do could. that with the dreamsicle, make some like popsicles. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how long it's here for, uh, but. All the content ideas for you. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> speaking of content ideas, how do you, like, how do you come up with all these ideas your reels are they're always hilarious especially the quick trip ones like the one the one that sticks out to me the most is when you went with your daughter and got the loaf of bread (laughs) like I was just like how did she come up with that and why did I think of it well and it was fun because she my daughter's just she's kind of like a mini actress so that was really fun to do but I don't know it was one night I could not fall asleep and I'm like, what could I do? Like, I always make recipes like with the quick trip stuff, but I'm like, maybe I could do something funny. And that just kind of popped into my head. But I mean, I try not to, it's hard to like get caught up on, especially on Instagram because the videos of anything like farming or anything you see, you know, like the home decor, cooking, like everything can be like very aesthetically pleasing and that can really kind of start to affect like the way I film things like oh maybe I should film in front of the window like there's better light Mm -hmm. then it's like no like this is this is what it is I'm not going to worry about it like I've had videos do really well in this crappy light in my normal looking kitchen you know um but I try to not I, I also feel like on social media people really not that there's anything wrong with it but like kind of copy I don't know if that's a word but or like duplicate the same reels over and over again Mm -hmm. you get the trends and then yeah and it's like everyone does it you hear the same sound like five times in a row and you're like okay we're done here (laughs) like I get it okay I get it um so I mean I just try and like think of fun things I mean some it's it's I mean some days I'm like I don't know what to post and then you know, you're worried about posting something. So I just lately have just kind of been like, well, whatever, like today, um, my kids and I made, we took orange peels and put peanut butter and bird seed in them. Super simple. And just made bird feeders out of it. So I'm like, well, this video, like me and the kids making this, you know, so just simple things like that. But I always just think like, even if only like 500 people watch this video, like maybe it'll give somebody an idea to make a bird beer tomorrow, you know? So, well, and just... I love that because it's simple things that people are going to have in their house. Like mm-hmm. I hate when you watch, I don't need, I can't think of anyone off the top of my head. So I don't follow them anymore, but like this, the stay at home moms that are just like, they glamorize everything and they've got like all these activities for kids and it's like you'd have to go out and buy 18 things to make this one exactly. simple project where I've got oranges in my fridge <laughs> I've got peanut butter and I don't have bird seed but I could probably find some you know right like, or, you know I've got some... sunflower seeds for the chickens like it's yeah. just I I think some people try to like over 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 complicate oh my <laughs> god I can't talk over complicate yes yes for sure um, just to like I don't know be like the top dog or something keeping up with the Joneses I don't know but I appreciate the simplicity of it and it's just it's more relatable and authentic I think to to a normal midwestern mom 
exactly. That's what I was going to say. Like I, like my content's all over the place, but even just, I mean, like when I was a kid growing up, we just, my mom opened the door and was like, go, just go do whatever outside, Mm -hmm. you know, like we were making mud pies or playing in the woods, whatever. And my mom would always do like simple things, but sometimes just those simple activities that maybe took us like 10 minutes will stick like in my brain from 25 years ago that we did, you know, just like a simple Midwest thing. I don't know. And then like you were saying, you see people on social where you're like for Easter, holy smokes, (laughs) some of the Easter baskets and activities. I mean, like you said, first of all, getting all the supplies and I don't know if these moms are hauling all of their kids in the car to go to the store because that is a whole nother (laughs) subject. Yeah. Maybe they do target pickup. (laughs) I don't know, which I'm not gonna lie. I do love Instacart. I'm a big Instacart fan. It's, it's pretty good. I even pay for Instacart plus like $5 a month. I wish this was an ad, but it's not. (laughs) Well, I I don't even know what Instacart is. Is that like a delivery service? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So they can deliver like, I'm surprised like we have it where we live because we're kind of out a little bit, but um, yeah, you can get your groceries delivered and sometimes I think even like targets on there. So if you need one day, I was out of baby wipes. So I just, <laughs> actually my mom was babysitting. I don't know where I was, but I door dashed or Instacarted on my phone to be delivered. I just was delivered right at my doorstep and she just picked it up. And that was that. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm a Modern big times. fan of, of target uh, pick up. Mm-hmm. And then we, we have high V for like grocery shopping and stuff. And I will do the pickup, but then one time it was like $10 for them to deliver it. And it was going to yeah. cost that to pick it up at the time I like was able to pick it up at. So I was like, shit, they can deliver it to me. And I was like, <laughs> right. this is the greatest thing. I know and- it's amazing. I mean, it definitely is like a splur, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I mean, if you're like last minute, kids are home, like with all this crazy weather, it's going to snow, it's going to tornado, it's mm-hmm. going to be hotter than heck, like just get it delivered. But then I feel bad because who's ever delivering it is driving in that. But, like, sorry. Really but nice. at the same time, you're probably still saving money because if you pack those kids up and went to the store, they're oh, going to cost you another $50. Oh my gosh. I even Mom, just I want this. General. I want that. <laughs> right? I mean, it's every time. And then you feel bad because I don't know, they peer pressure you and then they're so yeah, sweet. And they, they know, they know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Like you guys are just little stinkers, but we love you. Yep. I feel the exact yeah. same way. <laughs> yeah. So I'm trying to plan out a bunch of um, activities for summertime, just simple Midwest things you know and then even the summer like traveling um well not that we travel that far but like going up north and maybe finding like some cool state parks along the way or like hidden gems restaurants um I don't know just kind of kind of whatever whatever we are cross you know cross our paths I think that's awesome like especially in Wisconsin there are so many hidden gems and like so many small towns that you don't really hear about, but thanks to social media, you can. Um, right. So, you know, if, if you're able to find those and then share them with your followers and, you know, if you're on a road trip to go up north or whatever, I feel like going up north is like, a, I mean, a very Wisconsin thing to do in the summertime. <laughs> like yeah. not that many people are traveling the world in Wisconsin. I feel like we just go up <laughs> north and call it a vacation. <laughs> And that is, there is nothing wrong me. with that. I love it. Yeah. No, <laughs> I wish I was a little more of a traveler per se, but I'm just really not like I could live. It's funny. My husband and I last night were talking about like, what would we do if we won or like just receive like a billion dollars? And he is saying he, we would do this, 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 have this house here and there. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. First off, I am not leaving 
Wisconsin. Like, I mean, I'm staying here. He's like, even if you had a billion dollars, I'm like, what, why? I mean, I love it here. There's, it's great. I mean, you don't have to get on a plane to go somewhere really neat. You can go to like Michigan and drive. You can go to the other side of the state and you have bluffs and these beautiful rivers and all kinds of stuff. So I'm staying here. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I would probably buy a bigger house and then I could afford a maid. And get like a right. pool, a hot tub, sauna, you know, I would, um, I would bring the vacation to me. A hundred percent. I said, I'd like a nice car, like a really nice car. And I said a Tahoe and he's like, you could get any car though. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, but I a nice Tahoe. Tahoe school. And then I would also get a hot tub. Um, and then I probably would just get a cabin up North, yeah. wherever up North means for everybody Closest to the I, to the nearest quick trip yes amazing. you could probably buy a quick trip have that, a little convenience store in your house that's the midwest dream just like their headquarters you know they oh walk God, yeah. to the lobby and open the their quick trip in there i thought that was so funny that was cool oh my gosh that was like cool. i had heard of it but i mean that was cool that probably ter- was cool. i would spend my entire paycheck there if i if i worked there yeah. but that's okay. same. That's okay. Yeah, it's fine. We can only do so much, you know. Yeah. All right, we're getting off the rails a little bit. Um, let's go Sorry. back. <laughs> no. That's just quick trip happens. again. That's just what happens on this podcast. They should probably be sponsoring us right now. If you're listening, seriously. Um, yep. <laughs> what Paige? is? Yeah, <laughs> pa- Paige, can you hear us? <laughs> I'm sure she listened religiously. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> What would you say is your favorite um, platform to post on? Um, it used to be TikTok, but people are very rude on there, to be honest. Like, they will say whatever. Very rude. Um, Facebook, I... So Facebook's like a new one because I don't have like an actual Facebook, um, but my Morgan, the Midwest lady, I have a Facebook and I just post pretty much all the same stuff on there. So I have like 45,000 followers on there and only, I mean, wow. wow. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it was, I'm like, I don't even know. I don't even go on Facebook and same thing. I went on one day and I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay. So I don't remember which reel it was. But because I feel like Facebook's kind of uh, maybe like a 60 year olds mm-hmm. and over more platform, which is totally fine. Um, but some of these people on there, I'm just going to call them Karens, <laughs> are we're so just they're also very rude on there. So to answer that question, Instagram is definitely my favorite. I feel like people are nicer on there. Um, and then they can also message you privately, which is nice too. Like if they, I don't know, like with the stories and stuff, like you can connect a lot more personally with people, Mm -hmm. um, versus like TikTok, you can't necessarily do that. And Facebook is, I feel like there's a lot of weird, I don't know, just like different things and YouTube. I don't mind either. I'm not super successful on there. So that's more just like fun for me to look on, but. I definitely would say Instagram. I agree with all of those observations. Like, I feel like TikTok is like, it's just the younger crowd and they just say whatever Mm -hmm. they want because they're like behind their keyboard. Um, Yeah. And then, yeah, Facebook is, it's older people normally and they, they too kind of just say whatever they want. Like sometimes in all caps, I'm like, why are you yelling? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like what is going on or it doesn't make sense yeah I'm like yeah but yeah there's a lot more spam uh, on Facebook too I feel like yeah I agree 100 percent yeah TikTok um I don't know it's it's ruthless for sure it's and then some of the content on there I'm like I would never I would never post something like this <laughs> but yeah that's why I I deleted it uh probably about a month ago and I I don't regret it good for you you know and I 
I have just like you, like all these platforms, but I don't necessarily like, I'll just post on TikTok, but I don't really like spend my time on there. I'll go in like waves, like one night, you know, I'm like, all right, I'm going to read my book tonight, but instead I'm 45 minutes deep into maybe like Instagram reels or honestly, sometimes like YouTube shorts will suck me in. Um, I don't know. It's just, I think that was, if I could have had the self-control to like not be sucked in on TikTok when I would go to it, I'd probably still have it, but I just... I couldn't like I would post something and then 45 minutes later I'm still scrolling TikTok and I'm like this is not healthy. (laughs) I know and it is the same thing like the content on there for me like my algorithm is a lot of like stay-at-home moms and they do like a um, spend the morning with me or spend the day with me and I mean we both like do content so I'm pretty familiar with like the videoing of it and like where you need to place things. And I don't know how these moms like move. They either they have like a million tripods around their house or (laughs) I don't know how they do it. I mean, that's, that's a lot of work. And also their houses and their days seem a lot more calmer um, than mine. Like my house was a shit show like two hours ago it was pure chaos Mm -hmm. um but then I got the one kid to sleep and we cleaned up and it's quiet now (laughs) I uh not sure if you can even hear the background but the kids are (laughs) Sophia is actually asleep on the couch she like yeah she's just I mean she's in kindergarten and she oh no she is awake she always is so tired when she gets home. And so we were down in the barn feeding cows. And when we came back up, she was asleep on the couch. And the boys are playing with cars. And like, like they're just screaming out there. And that's like, <laughs> I'm just like, God, I hope you can't hear like, it all oh in the background. God. But no, I less this mess. Exactly. I mean, it's one day you, I saw this thing yesterday that was like, as I'm looking out at the swing sets, like, the dirt like where their feet stop you know there's like the Mm, little marks underneath the swings it's like one day that'll fill back in with grass I'm like oh my god I'm (laughs) crying as I just like yelled at one of them or something you know (laughs) oh my god oh my gosh Uh, all right well I don't want to take up too much of your time tonight um what before we go what's like one piece of advice that you would give to someone whether they're a stay-at-home mom or just someone that's interested in sharing more of their, their life on social media, like what's one piece of advice you'd give to them? Um, the social media part is just post it because I mean, just, you can't worry about what other people are going to say, think, or do. Um, I mean, I think everybody it it takes a lot of courage sometimes to post or be vulnerable. Um, I mean, sometimes I'll post things and be like, Oh my gosh. But, um, I mean, it's, it's fun. I if, just do it. That's my advice. There's no better time than now. Just do it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then as a stay at home mom thing, the biggest advice I have is, which it's taken me a long time. I've always been a very like, go, go, go kind of person. Um, You need to be like working all day long. Don't sit down. And the more I've spent at home, I've been home for about a year and a half is you need to rest and don't feel guilty. Some days are going to not be as maybe involved or doing a million things. Like today I made bird houses or bird feeders, but I mean, tomorrow I might not get to that or you don't have to worry about doing all of the things. Just be present in the moment. And I, I just think the guilt thing, definitely like, just don't feel guilty. Like you're at home with your kids. That's awesome. You know? Yeah. So, and even like you're you could- not, yeah, you. I mean, you could sit at home with them and do absolutely nothing, and they, they still love you. Exactly. They still probably think you're the best mom in the world. Exactly. It's just, yeah. I mean, it's a roller coaster. I mean, like this morning, I was great. We we're doing good, and then 
by like two o'clock, I'm like, holy smokes, this is, this is a lot. Like I need to sit down. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely some days are better than others, but as long as you're there with your kids, it's really all that matters. I mean, like you said, something is, you can sit at home all day and do nothing, but something simple as walking outside and teaching them like which tree this is, is better than nothing, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, don't feel guilty. That's my advice and be present. Okay. Are you you ready for some rapid fire questions? Oh God. Okay. (laughs) Sure. They're probably not going to be rapid fire because my brain doesn't work that fast, but, uh, well, and I'm in such a, I'll go on and on and on. So I'll try to be quick. <laughs> They're not going to. Okay. Uh, cheese curds, fresh, squeaky or fried? Squeaky. Really? All right. Oh. But I do love a Culver's. Mm. This might cause controversy, but I personally think like the best cheese curds come from Culver's. I love that they're crisp on the outside and they're not greasy. I can't stand like the, the light battered greasy ones. Yeah. Culver, yeah. Culver's is king, queen, whatever you yeah. want to call them. <laughs> All right. You just walked into quick trip. You walked to the hot spot. What are you grabbing? Either if it's breakfast, I'm going to grab the waffle um, breakfast sandwich. So good. Mm-hmm. Um, or if it's lunch, I'm probably going to grab some Bosco sticks. Some what sticks? Bosco sticks. What are those? <sighs> They're like cheese bread. It's sort of like garlic bread. or It reminds me of like Olive Garden breadsticks, but it's filled with cheese. Oh, the cheese sticks. Che- cheese yeah, bread? Yeah, cheese sticks. Okay. I guess. You I don't it? know. I, Bosco sticks? <laughs> 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 That's what we all call them at our house. I don't know. All maybe right. that's not what they're called. Bosco, Bosco gonna... sticks, cheese bread. Okay. Cheese bread. Yeah. That's, that's cheese one of bread. my top picks. That's what I'm grabbing. <laughs> all right. I'll allow that. Um, Bosco stick. I've never heard it called that before. I don't know. I'm going to have to look into this. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite, um, like Midwest destination for a fun vacation? Um, definitely. Um, if it's with kids up North, if it's like me and my husband, we went to door County last fall, super fun. We also have a cabin on the Mississippi river. And that is always just like a good, good time too. So with family. So I would say if I were to pick one, probably up North. Good answer. All right. Uh, let's see. Do one more question. Probably the most important question of the night. Brown cap or green cap? Oh, Oh, man. Green cap. (laughs) Amber, you need to edit this out. Just delete the whole podcast. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Amber will be very pleased to hear this. (laughs) They're both good. They're both good. They really are. it's It's a hard pick. Yeah, I'm... I'm team brown cap all the way, but like, if you have, <laughs> but it's cap, fine. I'm gonna drink it. I'm gonna drink it. Okay, right. Um, I had my daughter do the test. I had her like secret, like brown cap or green cap, and I think she picked the green cap because I remember Amber commenting on this. I should so, do that with my kids. See what they pick. Yeah, it was fun. I highly recommend it. And then we were able to drink a bunch of chocolate milk afterwards. So yeah, win win for everyone. Exactly, hundred percent. All right. Well, thank you, thank you so much for taking the time to be on the podcast. Yes, Do you thank want you. to remind everyone? Amber's listening to it. She just texted me and said, "Suck it." You know what, Amber? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Before we go, do you want to remind everyone of where they can find you on your social media platforms? Yes. So, Morgan, the Midwest Lady, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and I think that's Facebook. it. And Facebook, Facebook is is Morgan. Facebook is just Morgan Geyer. And now you can find me on Lemon Eight, but my <laughs> my handle is too long, so it's the Midwest Lady. I think is all that one is. 
All right. Who knows? I might not even be on that tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see. All right. Well, you guys go check her out. Um, and thank you again for being on the podcast. If you 